There's so much information around these days about manifesting, and of course there is, because people like never before want to accomplish their dreams. And they are beginning to recognize as the world wakes up that it's not always about the sweat equity you put in, but so often it's about the inner work that you do and the growth that you experience on your journey. It's about unfolding into it rather than arriving at it. Friend, there's a great big problem with manifesting, and today you and I will discuss the elephant in the room. So come on, put your seatbelt on, let's kick into it. Hello, you glorious soul. Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben. I'm here every day, and boy, am I thankful for you. I love talking about spirituality, the universe, and principles around living your best life. You'll find it all here, friend. I talk about the things I've learned, studying for a degree in counselling. We talk about brain science. We talk about manifesting and living in your very finest life. So please make sure that you're subscribed, reach out, say hi. Let's connect. But friend, today I wanted to share some thoughts with you around manifesting because we, live in, we are living at a time in history, and here I am getting overly excited already, where people are beginning to wake up. They are recognizing that to have the dream means you can't bully your way into it. You know, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, the corporate scene was one that embraced the energy of bullying. If you wanna to get to the top, you're going to have to climb the ladder. What that means is there will be heads that you stand on as you climb up that ladder. What people fail to recognize is you pass those very same heads that you have trampled on your way back down the ladder because inevitably it will come. Life is about seasons. And seasons come to do one thing. They come to display themselves and then pass. So often when you read ancient scriptures and things, you read with the prefix that says, and it came to pass that such and such. That's the story of our life. Things come to our life not to destroy us or not to make us greater than anybody else. They come to pass. The very act of doing that means that there is a deposit left within us. It is the amassing of these deposits it is the focusing on the expansion of these deposits. It's nurturing these deposits, the lessons that the seasons bring, that equips us to move forward. The issue is that so many people are addicted to manifesting. Manifesting is fabulous. It works. It is real. And you can have anything you want. But very often I talk to people. And they say, I'm manifesting this, I'm manifesting that. I've been manifesting this for six weeks. Three years ago, I decided I'm going to start manifesting that. And I say to them, how's that going for you? And inevitably, it hasn't happened. Many people in that pool recognize that it's a journey of inner work, but they are focused solely on the manifestation. Manifesting is exciting. I get it, friend. I Believe me, I get it. I know it's exciting to recognize that if you want that dream, you can have it. If you want that career, it's yours for the taking, but you don't have to go and strive for it. You can just manifest it. You can come into a vibrational alignment that is harmonious with the energy of that thing, and the results will show up as manifested reality. We talk all of the time about how energy is frequency that vibrates. And all frequency carries upon it information. Therefore, if you get the right frequency, you get the right information. Tune a radio into the right frequency, on comes that banger. What is it today? Bon Jovi? I love it. Friend, it's truly an incredible principle to recognize that you can manifest whatever you want. But don't get stuck in that vibration. Don't you fall into that trap, friend. It's time to move forward from the trap that holds so many back, which is, I'm manifesting this. I'm a manifester. It's time to come back to a place of oneness. See, I've, I've talked to you before, friend, and it was some time ago, so just a quick flash refresher. There are only three phases of spiritual growth. There are only three phases of the growth that leads to a manifested result. The first stage 
is the one we are all born into this world in. That is the stage of, if it is to be, it's up to me. That's the stage of, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to do this in my own strength. But then we move to the second stage, which is the stage of the manifester, and we recognise we can come into harmonious alignment with this thing, but we still show up. We still are manifesting this. What is the secret prayer? What is the meditation? What is the law of attraction technique? And we sit in the vibration of this all of the time, but when you come into oneness, the third phase, you recognise that if it is to be, the only thing that is up to you is showing up for yourself. You recognise it's not about making it happen, it's about making it welcome. You make it welcome by doing the inner work that allows you to be the version of you you have to be to live amidst that manifested blessing. And that really is the end of the game. When people become addicted to manifesting, they sit in the spin of that and they never get the result. Why? Because they're always manifesting it. It's like people who are always chasing love. All they do is chase it away. Like the old saying goes, instead of dreaming about your next holiday, why not set your life up in such a way that you don't need one? See, it's all energy, friend. And the energy of manifesting is wonderful in the light of the big picture that says it's one part of an unfolding. If you get stuck in the energy of manifesting, you get stuck in the part where your wheels are spinning. You get stuck in the energy that holds you in this perpetual motion of nothing happening. Return to oneness and recognize that what is for you is not going to go past you. Who is for you will not miss you if you show up for yourself and do your inner work. All of the promises inside of your heart, the dreams that are unfulfilled, they will not go to somebody else if you just show up every day. Do your best to be your best. Live your life well. Be good to yourself. Be good to people. And understand it's a journey of unfolding. Now, friend, I love you and I'm thankful for you. My encouragement for you today is this. Go for those dreams. Manifest them because you can. But don't get stuck in the energy of perpetual spin. Don't get stuck in the, in, the, um, in the energy of, I've got to do this technique or that prayer, or have I done this right, or have I done this wrong, or where's a sign, I haven't seen a sign. Don't get stuck in any of that that's so unbalanced that you'll never sail in to a smooth and calm harbour on the imbalanced energy of that ocean. Focus on what it is that you want. Focus on that dream. And begin to turn up in your life as the person who already responds and reacts and talks and teaches and nurtures and loves in the way you will when you live in that promised land. By doing that, you change your vibrational frequency. When you change the frequency, you change the information that is carried to you and manifested upon that frequency. The dreams are yours, friend. It's not about making it happen. It's about making it welcome. I love you. I'm thankful for you. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you visit me tomorrow. Peace.